Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can revive your straight hair if it's starting to look a bit dusty and crusty and looking a bit bushy. So this is my hair two weeks after I straightened it and I'm going to show you exactly what I did to make my hair look like it was freshly straightened again. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing how I did it, keep on watching. Yeah, this is what my hair is looking like. Two weeks, it's not that bad actually. So yeah, I still will be wearing my hair straight for the next few weeks if it lasts. But because the ends are a bit bushy, I'm going to show you what I do to make them look a bit better. Because yeah, they're just a little bit bushy. And also I'm going to sort out this front area too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to straighten the perimeter of my head. I don't really recommend you to do it as well, but this is something that I've always done throughout my whole journey. And because I cut face frame and layers anyway, that hair is always getting cut. So I'm not really too worried about it um, dropping off or getting damaged. But really and truly, I should be worrying because I had a lot of um, fallout around my hairline. So yeah, but this is what I do. So I'm just gonna show you guys. I'm not trying to tell no lies. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna be using my GHDs for this, just because the, um, the other hair straighteners, they bit too wide and I want to get into small areas like here so yeah I'm just going to use these GHDs and I believe the temperature goes up to 210 so I'm just going to let that heat up I'm going to part off what I'm going to straighten and I'm going to do the back as well because when my hair gets a bit old I like to put my hair up in a ponytail and I want that to be sleek so you just put that middle section up Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna straighten these areas and show you how it looks afterwards. And just like that. So I don't even straighten all the way to the bottom. I literally just straighten the roots where it's reverted. So it's usually around the two week mark that I have to do this and I only do it if I need to go out somewhere and I need to look you know polished if I'm just going out to the shop or shopping or anything like that I really need to do it so that's that side and it's all done and this is the side that's not done honestly it just makes a big difference but if you worry about heat damage and if you feel like your hair is becoming damaged or your hair is damaged I wouldn't recommend this <laughs> And it's all done. <laughs> this is me, guys. <laughs> I'm just gonna let all the hair down now. Part off that hair again. Oh, I've got a knot. I've got lots of dust in it, that's all right. <laughs> Dusty and crusty. So I don't feel guilty doing this at all because it's very rare that I put heat in my hair. Well, these days anyway, so. And I would usually do the parting as well, but it doesn't actually look too bad. But just doing the perimeter of the hair makes a whole world of difference. So now if I put my hair up in a ponytail, it'll be sleek and smooth, just like so. But I'm not ready to put it in a ponytail yet, just cause I don't want to crimp my hair at all. So yeah, that's done. I didn't want to, waste this product out because it's quite expensive but this is really really lightweight and it does exactly what the essential oils does but it doesn't leave the residue so I'm going to spray some of this in my hair now so yeah just spray a little bit on quite a few sprays of that on there as you can see it looks so much better after doing that and it's a little bit way down now, but it's not bad at all. My hair was still blowing the wind. That's that. So I can still actually rock my hair like this, but let me just show you what you can do to revive those ends. So I've got a bunch of these rollers. <laughs> so I've got a bunch of these rollers and I'm gonna put them in my hair just for as long as you can really. So if you're going out, Ideally, you just want to put them in your hair and just wear them around the house until you're just about to leave. Well, I'm not going anywhere, so <laughs> I'm going to leave them in as long as I can just so I can show you 
what it does. So I'm gonna make a little box in the front here. Just a box like that. And comb the hair down. Like so, just making sure to smooth the hair down. You don't want it to crimp at all. And I'm just taking these clips here and I'm just going to part the rest of the hair down the middle. Just use my finger. Pretty sure I had nine. Oh, crumbs. <laughs> right, so I've lost one somehow. So I'm going to have to use one of these old ones, which I don't like because they leave a crimp on my hair. So I'm just going to use it at the back. So I'm going to part each section again. Make sure it's equal in the amount of hair. Like that. This top section. Like that. And try and get it as straight as possible because I don't want to twist it at all. I want it to come straight out of my head. It's kind of hard to do it when you're not looking in the mirror. I'm telling you, my YouTube setup is mad. <sighs> I can't wait until I get my own little beauty room or something because this is ridiculous. <laughs> the amount of time it actually takes me to set up to just record one little half an hour video. Oh, it's crazy. You really have to love YouTube or really want to do YouTube for situations like this, <laughs> which I do really do want to succeed on here, guys. If you want to help me out, you can subscribe to my channel, give it a like, leave a comment. It will all help me and also help others to see this video as well. One more. I'll put that little butters one at the bottom just in case it crimps my hair, then I can just hide it. <laughs> so that's one side done. On to the next side. So you can just roll it down a little bit so that it's not, you know, crimping up the hair. So you don't want to clip it like that because it's going to leave an indent on your hair. You want to poke it through the section like that. So that's all the rollers in. You can use more if you have more. I don't have more than that because I lost them. It's not going to curl your hair too much. It's literally just going to bump your ends without the heat. And the longer you leave it, the better. Um, I don't have that much time. I wonder if I should put a blow dryer in it to accelerate the process. Or do you think that will mess up my silk press? I don't want to mess up my silk press, you know? Girl, don't do it. But, yeah. Um, I'm not going to do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. I'm not going to do it. So it's getting a bit late now. So I'm going to try the hair dryer method because I'm running out of time. I did it. So I'm just going to take this soft hood dryer attachment to apply some heat to it. Well, it's not going to be too high of a heat. It's going to be low heat. So I'm going to attach it to this hair dryer. It's an old hair dryer, my son's one. So I'm going to use it on low heat. And if it gets too hot, I'm just going to press the cool shot button. So I thought the blow dryer would help accelerate the process but it actually made my hair feel a bit less silky but it did help to smooth out my ends. So I don't recommend it because it loses the silkiness whereas if you just use the rollers and wear them for a long time without the heat it won't result with that loss of silkiness. But yeah. Oh, so that was about five minutes. Um, I'll take this off now. So what I'm going to do now is allow my hair to completely cool until it's not warm to touch at all, which is about five minutes. And then I'll take the rollers down and see what we have. Yeah, so I think they're cool now. These ones definitely do feel cool. The ones at the back still feel a little bit warm. But I can't wait, I can't wait. So I'm just going to take them down. And this is a little banged up roller that I hate. This one down. Be careful when taking these pins down because they can snag your hair. And I'm not exactly sure why when it's just one hair being pulled, it hurts so flippin' much. 
Yep, so that's all the rollers down. Thinking about it now, I should have rolled that one forwards. What was I thinking? So with this section, put the roller in normally. So it'll be going that way, not that way. Because I do want it to be in like that. To be able to swoop like that, you know? Anyway, I don't know about you, but for me, it just feels like it's revived. And the ends are bumped. If you get what I mean? Like, the curling under. So yeah, that's exactly what I'd do if I was going out. So because my hair is a little bit old now, I don't mind using edge control, but when it's really dead straight, I don't like to use edge control at all because I know that it's gonna make this part greasy and I don't want it to be greasy. But since we've got a little bit of bush going on now, I don't mind. I know it's coming to the end of its journey, so yeah, I'm just gonna do my edges. And this is what my edges are looking like. So yeah, that's all there is to it, guys. I can't believe this is actually two weeks after straightening my hair. It's lasting long. It's a good routine, guys. You wanna, you wanna see this one. So yeah, if you wanna see my new curly to straight routine, subscribe to my channel. It'll either be up already or it'll be up next week. So click that subscribe button, guys. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.